Yeah, hi, this is Craig. I'm making my uh, second video about the, uh, the mini mill. Uh, last one I did the unboxing. Uh, today I'm going to be doing the, uh, the belt drive conversion kit. Uh, I got the uh, kit, oh, sorry, got the kit from uh, right here, a uh, little machine shop. And you can see it comes with the uh, manual with all the instructions to put it together. It comes with all the various parts here and uh, I think I got everything I need um, except I don't have uh, the needle nose pliers I have some regular pliers like this I'm not sure if those are going to be able to get the retaining clip out or not but uh, all right speed range selector lever to the back position high setting okay I know mine's already in high so I'm supposed to cut this off here. This little Allen, this little set screw right here. So I loosen that. All right. So using the pin and the, the spanner wrench. Put this in here and rotate the. Oh, not bad of me. Unplug the mill first, safety first. It was already off, but. Okay, so I got that in there. Now we're gonna take this in the clockwise direction. the spanner nut from the spindle. We take this nut out completely. Put it off to the side. Okay, so we're loosening these. Hmm. Wish I had one that wasn't done with one of these things. Yeah, I can just pull it off. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Remove the four M6 halves. Let's uh, secure the black cast plate. It slips between the one and lift the plate off of the head, being careful not to stretch the flex conduit attached to the motor. Okay. So we're going to remove this. And I guess we'll just move the table down. Just oops, I don't want to break anything. Just sit it right on top of the table there. That works pretty good. Alright, so we want to remove, oh, okay, so we're just, so this there may be tight, but that seemed to come off pretty easy. Keep these in a safe place. Removing the screws out of there. Okay, got the plate off. Now I just uh, let's just set that over there for now, not to damage the flex. Okay, we'll be talking about this screw right here. I guess I have to do the spindle lock again. Have to align the spindle lock. There we go, just hold the gear while I remove it. Okay. 
Put that off to the side. And remove the gear on the top of the mill head and its key that is in the, the key that is in the shaft. So we're gonna remove We're gonna remove the little gear right here. Cause I just need to wiggle it up or something. Okay. I guess that's the plastic gear that everybody talks about breaking. Well, mine never broke because I haven't used it that much yet, but Alright, just won't need that. Uh, more grease on there. Oh, and the key. There's a little key. Set the. Pull the key out. Oh, yeah, little key. In there. Alright. Thing right here that I need to get off. Okay. Well, let's see. I got a pair of strip. I got it off, but I think it was easier just to pry it off with a screwdriver and then. Well, I eventually had to get it off with pliers, but uh, just prying it off with a screwdriver seemed to do the trick. Alright, now that I got that off, let's see if we can get this gear off. Oh, oh that came off really easy. It's up here, oh, oh, most of the way at least. Okay, got it off. And I'm supposed to save the key, so I gotta put that in a safe place. Alright, let's see what's next. That had the plastic gear mounted on it. Clear plastic sleeve. Onto the shaft that had the plastic gear mount on it. So I guess that would be right here. I think I remember sis right on here. I remember someone else was a little tricky getting it on. So I figure I might have the same thing. Down all the way. I think it's supposed to be down all the way. Alright, got the plastic sleeve on. Right, next step. Put this right on there and secure it using the four screws. Uh, there we go. Okay. Put the four screws in. There, like that. Put the four screws in there. I suppose that's kind of self explanatory. But. Install the large pulley onto the spindle. Alright, so we get the large spindle here. And I guess I'm thinking this has got to go down because that's where the uh, 
this thing's going to have to go through. Put a little hole right there. Hmm. Which doesn't seem to fit through. Here. Let's up with that, huh? Okay. Uh, I guess we'll figure that out. Um. I guess you gotta line that up with the key on here. That fits on there nice and tight and and then reinstall the spanner nut by using the spanner spindle lock pin and the spanner wrench that came with your mill. Okay. Right. I guess what we'll find out if this can still get this in. Alright. So I got that. Uh, that would be this right here. That's going to go back on by the opposite. Okay. And then... Ah. Yeah. It went in, but it's a little tight. I think they probably could have... I suppose it might be easier once I get this thing off. Uh, uh, of course, I won't be taking that off until I do the CNC part, but... Okay, well, looks like the battery died on my other camera. You, know, you can see what I had set up here now. Okay, well I got the uh, the pulley mounted on here. Oops, a little hard to see from here. Uh, as I put the uh, the key stock in there, and then just slid this thing all the way down as far as I would go, and uh, I'm just tighten that uh, Allen set screw all the way down. Uh, it goes in a long way, so you guys keep turning and turning until it finally hits the uh, the key stock. So. All right, well, I got that part done there. Okay, well, this came with this thing on, this uh, plate on like this, but uh, in order to, obviously, to mount the motor, you have to access it from the back, so I'm having to take this plate off uh, so I can put it together. Uh, before putting this thing on, you're going to want to check and see what exact holes you're going to bolt it to um, before you screw it down to make sure that the flexes, if you put it in the wrong hole, you turn it the wrong way, the, the flex isn't going to be in the right place. So. Also it says to uh, make sure you position the, the pulley uh, or set the pulley in there uh, before you go tightening it down and stuff. Kind of put it in there and tie it up and set the the belt in there uh, to make sure the uh, you may not be able to get it in later so right. okay well the lever lock uh, you have to disassemble it in order to put that on that's the part that goes over here to give tension to the uh, to the belt there uh, so that actually has to be taken apart like that and then uh, I guess put on here like this. And this gets installed like this. A little hard to do this with the camera in my hand, but uh, that goes on there like that. And I guess these parts get put back together. Uh, okay. Okay, I put that back together and. And I made it like this, so you loosen it, it goes back here like this. You can kind of adjust it depending upon, you know, where you put it in. It's got a little teeth inside. So, like that, you pull this and it's tight. Uh, right? Okay, so it's pretty easy to change gears here. Uh, it's said to just start off with putting in the lower gear, so you basically just loosen this 
and this this just pulls forward and looks like this would be high right here on the upper position right there and then you can tighten it down and there's high and then you bring it down to here so it's on that one there and the big one there and then tighten it back up and tighten it there and that there would be uh, high or low sorry yeah the bottom is low and the top is high All right, I put the little plastic cover on, I guess, so you don't get your fingers caught in there. Um, and uh, one thing I did notice is, uh, I don't know, I can't see it here very well, but the cover doesn't seem to align all that great. I guess if you pull it back a little bit, I don't know, I may have to do a little modification or maybe just cut out a little bit of that plastic. Let's see how the... Uh, pin goes in. You got to kind of move the plastic out of the way and then shove the pin in there because it's a little tight. I'm sure once I get the uh, the fine feet off this when I did the CNC conversion it'll probably be easier. So just pull it as far forward as you can and in this way the gears won't mess up. Uh, they won't engage or something like that. Okay. Uh, let's see, I'm supposed to put the little cable tie on uh, my inner thing. Okay, I've raised the head back up like it's said to do and uh, make sure it's unplugged still. Uh, spin the spindle, make sure everything's moving freely. Looks like it's okay, everything Looks like it's working good. And, uh, all right, we'll uh, plug her back in here. All right. Turn it back on. I hear the fan going. And let's see, it says to start it up slowly. And I've got my eye protection on. I guess I should put the little cap back on, huh? Hmm. I guess I won't be putting the little cap back on. Alright, well, that was a pain to take on and off anyways. So, oh, I should make, oh, you know I have no tool in here. The, uh, put the, I got a, I got the, uh, the TTS, the Tormach tooling system, got a quarter inch carbide end mill in here. Alright, I got that in there. Of course I did a no-no. I was working on that with the power still on. I unplugged it and turned this back off again. Plug it back in. Alright, All right, we got a tool in place. Let's see. Everything's good. I don't know how loud it sounds there, but... Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty smooth. See it spinning around there. I do hear a little something, a little noise every once in a while, I'm not sure what that is, I guess I'll have to, oh, probably couldn't hear me. There's a little noise in there, I'm not sure what that is exactly, but, um, alright, well, that was pretty darn simple if you ask me.